Hi everybody, Jimmy D for Anyone Can Learn Guitar on Lockdown at Home. It's not an easy thing for me to be locked down at all. But I wanted to share a really cool finger exercise with you guys that I've seen help a lot, a lot of people. I actually did this, a guy showed me this when I was about 15 or 16 years old. And I've learned a million of these finger exercises. And this one, in my opinion, is the best one that I've found. And I remember feeling so blessed and so lucky that this guy showed it to me at that age because it really helped with uh, being able to play solos and it helped build strength and technique in my left hand. And I don't know the technical term for this particular exercise, but this, this guy called it the spider legs exercise. And what we're going to do, you always want to arch your fingers. You never want to play guitar like that. You always want that arch in your fingers. We're going to start on the first string on the first fret and play that note with your index finger. And then play the third fret on the first string with your ring finger. So again, if you're just joining, you play the first fret on the first string with your index finger. Leave that finger down. Play the third fret on the first string with your ring finger. Now lift that finger up and play the second fret on the second or the second fret on the first string with your middle finger. And now we put our pinky down on the fourth fret of the first string. So again the pattern is index, ring, middle, pinky. Index, ring, middle, pinky. This is our spider legs finger exercise. Index, ring, middle, pinky. Notice the index isn't coming up. One of the most important things you can learn with technique is that your index is going to stay down almost all the time. So we go index, ring, middle, pinky. Now we move up a fret. Index, ring, middle, pinky. Same thing. We move up another fret. Index, ring, middle, pinky. We move up another fret. Index, ring, middle, pinky. We come up another fret. Index, ring, middle, pinky. Another fret, index, ring, middle, pinky. Come up to ninth fret, index, ring, middle, pinky. Tenth fret, index, ring, middle, pinky. Or sorry, that's the eighth fret, index, ring, middle, pinky. Ninth fret, index, ring, middle, pinky. Now when we get to twelve, we go backwards. So we're gonna go pinky, middle, ring, index. The index stays down the whole time. Now we go down a fret to the 11th fret, same pattern. It's not the most musical exercise, but it's one of the most helpful ones you can do for your fingers to kind of train them to get them doing what you want them to do, especially if you're a be beginner or if you're somebody that can play lots of rhythm guitar but you can't play lead yet. So one more time, index, leave the index down, ring finger on the third fret, lift the ring, middle finger on the second fret, pinky on the fourth fret, and we just follow that pattern throughout. Then we go backwards. The reason why it's so important is because this exercise is designed to break you doing this. When one finger goes down, the index will want to come up. And you got to break yourself of doing that to play guitar efficiently. So it's just something that you can learn in a few minutes that will really, really, really help your technique. And I hope it's as helpful for you guys as it has been for me. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.